An absolutely heartbreaking story out of Sarahville, New Jersey tonight, where a 30-year-old city council member, Eunice Jumfor, was shot and killed in what appears to be a targeted attack just outside of her home. Fox News correspondent Nate Foy has all the details. Nate. Yeah, Laura, just an absolutely tragic story. New Jersey Councilwoman Eunice Dwum Four was a 30-year-old mother of a young daughter. She was very involved in her church, yet according to multiple reports, she was targeted in this shooting while driving near her home. And she wasn't shot by one stray bullet. She was shot multiple times. Police found her dead when they arrived at the crime scene. Dwum Four was the chair of Sayreville's Public Safety Committee, and she worked very closely with the new police chief to reduce crime. But Sayreville's business administrator says he doesn't think that played a role in her murder. I can't think of anything that she could have done or said that would have made her a target of such a, a heinous act. Nothing that would uh, lead us to believe it had any. Her, her role in the public safety uh, community had nothing to do with this horrifying incident. Laura, this is the neighborhood where Dwum Four was murdered. Police tell us this is very unusual here. It's not the type of place where you would expect something like this to happen. Sayreville's mayor released a statement writing in part, quote, as a community, we are shocked and saddened at the loss of Eunice Dwum Four. Eunice was a dedicated member of our borough council who was truly committed to serve all of our residents. The fact that she was taken from us by a despicable criminal act makes this incident all the more horrifying. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is promising state support throughout this investigation. Laura. Nate, thank you. Joining me now is Pastor Nelia Rodriguez. She was friends with the councilwoman and last year saw her um, yesterday, and last saw her yesterday morning. Pastor, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is such a tragic story. We're so sorry for your loss. Now, you say that this killing was very personal. What, what do you mean by that? Um, we believe it's very personal because she was shot seven times in the face and another seven shot were hidden everywhere. So for somebody to get so close to somebody and shoot them so many times, mm. it has to be personal. Do you have any sense that this could be some type of hate crime, religiously motivated, given the uh, religious violence that's happening in Nigeria? Some say that this violence could be brought, I mean, from Ghana, could be brought to the United States. Um, is that possible? Anything's possible uh, just because what's going on, uh, like what we had in problem with Bloomfield and everything that's going on with all the interfaces, it could be possible. But at this point, we don't have any answers to that question. But it's a possibility. Well, for someone to be shot seven times at close range in the face, it, uh, I mean, it's cartel or it's something personal. Now, in addition to being a councilwoman, Eunice was also an active member uh, of her church. And here she is preaching just a few years ago. The beautiful thing about God Almighty, God Almighty is like a diamond. He has many sides to him. The way I may relate with God Almighty is different from how you relate with him. That is the beauty of God. Uh, Pastor, your reaction, she was, a, she was an amazing person. That was at... Uh, her church, which is a Nigerian church, um, by all accounts, an amazing woman, an incredible asset to the community. Why would someone do this? There's, there's probably not an answer why would somebody do that. Somebody who has no heart, somebody who has no love for community, who, somebody who could have been jealous. It could have been many reasons why somebody would hurt somebody like her, who was such a beautiful soul, who loved everybody, who always smiled. She never said no. She would take her jacket off to give it to you. Her soul was so beautiful. She was such a light to everybody in the community that is horrifying to even think of anybody trying to hurt her. Pastor, have the police said they have any leads, any security camera footage from anyone? There hasn't been uh, leads. The only thing that they, they have commented is that um, there was a man standing next to the car and then he ran into the woods. That's the only thing that has been said. There's nothing else that we could uh, go by leads at this point. Well, we're going to follow up on this. Uh, Pastor, we are so sorry for your loss. This is just a heartbreaker. Um, thank you for joining us and telling her story.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.